everybody. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, this is a couple of tips that I've got for you. So anyway, I have an extremely large head. It is so big that sometimes people see a moon floating around it and it's not the Death Star on there. So uh, I haven't worn one of these visors since dental school and I actually kind of like the visor. The only thing that kind of bothers me is sometimes you get like a little headache because it's so constricting. Um, so what I've found is if you wear the visor like a crown, it fits pretty good and it's pretty stable uh, versus like a ball cap where you go down like this on there. So I find that if I wear it like a tiara, it fits pretty good on there. So that's my tip for the face, face shield. All right, so now how do you don the uh, PPE, how do you take it on and off on there? So I learned this cool trick from Charlie Serpek and it's the Tupperware method. So what you do is you put your Tupperware on like this and then you take your mask off just like how you put it on like this and I take the surgical air loops off right there and then I take it off and then voila the mask fits in here and then you can store it in your bag with your initials and the date. And then when it's ready to put on, you just put your mask on like this, and then you put on the loop like this. All right, first, your loop for the surgical mask. And then you put the bottom one on like this. Making sure it fits. And voila, you have your mask. Again, tuck wear to your face. Neck strap first, ear loop from your surgical mask, and then the top of the head. Take it off, fits like this, goes in your storage bag. And then you can store it. So how do we store it? Well, let me show you. So we've been storing and rotating our N95 surgical masks um, in the paper bags as the CDC says. And uh, we want ventilation so that the mask can dry out and so that oxygen can kill any bugs. And so what we do is we just put it right up on the shelf because heat rises and this virus does not like heat. Um, it also, you know, theoretically helps on there. So that's how we store our uh, N95 respirators on there. So the easiest way is to just get a standard paper bag like this. And uh, what you want to do is you want to fold it in half. So the easiest thing to do is take a regular paper bag, fold it in half, and then just like they do in CrossFit, you want to just trim that fat. Toss this. Then what you want to do is you want to label your initials. Day of the week. Then what you want to do is open the bag. And then take your little Tupperware put it in there. And that's the, the reason why you really want to shorten it is so that you have quick, easy access. There's not a lot of fumbling on there because the paper bag is to allow the mask to breathe, but also so it's a nice place to store it uh, on there. All right, okay. So back in 2003, um, the inspiration for our office was modern sleek design. Uh, and so in terms of air purification, we wanted a system that uh, looked modern and sleek. And so you can see in the hygiene bay that we have the True Sense UV carbon and HEPA filter system. The nice thing is it has a constant monitoring system uh, where it detects the, the air quality 
and adjusts the unit automatically. And as we take a closer look, you can see the readings on there. And right now we're getting a reading of 06 on there. So anything from zero to 50 is considered a good air quality in there. And so you can also hear how quiet it is. It's pretty quiet uh, on there. All right, so this is our private operatory and uh, we wanted something sleek also in there uh, and something that wasn't too obtrusive. And as we enter the room, you can actually see where we put the True Sense um, air filter system. It is actually seated right underneath the chair. And again, it's, it's pretty quiet. So here you'll see our COVID employee screening station uh, where we record um, and answer the screening questions on there. So we have our pulse oximeters as well as our contactless thermometer, uh, our uh, disinfectant as well as uh, paper towels. Stay safe and healthy my friends. Till next time, Dr. John signing off.